Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Time Part 1. Time on Earth is closely related to how the Earth moves around the Sun. It has nothing to do with the metric system. The Earth takes approximately 365 and a quarter days to revolve around the Sun. Hence, while calendars show that there are 365 days in one year, we have a leap year every four years. There are 366 days in a leap year. The following are the important conversions with respect to time. 60 seconds equal one minute. 60 minutes equal one hour. 24 hours equal one day. 7 days equal 1 week, 52 weeks equal 1 year, 12 months equal 1 year, 365 days equal 1 year, and 366 days equal 1 leap year. 10 years equals 1 decade, and 100 years equals 1 century. Let's look at 12 hour time. Historically, the letters AM or PM are used after the time to designate whether we are talking about morning or afternoon stroke evening. Now sometimes we'll see AM on a, on a watch for example. This is between midnight and midday. Sometimes we'll see PM. This is between midday and midnight. Example 1. In the morning, a person might get out of bed at 6 a.m. Example 2. You might be going to a birthday party which starts at 8 p.m. in the evening. Example 3. What is the difference in hours and minutes between 10.50 a.m. and 2.15 p.m.? Now let's look at the solution. 10.50 a.m. is one hour and ten minutes before midday. 2.15 p.m. is two hours and fifteen minutes after midday. So all we have to do is add one hour and ten minutes to two hours and fifteen minutes. Hence the difference is three hours and twenty-five minutes. Now let's look at 24 hour time and that is used on occasions. 24 hour time does not use AM or PM. In this method we only use four digits to tell the time. The first two digits give the number of hours after midnight. The second two digits give the minutes. Let's look at some examples. 8.35 AM is 0835. So the 08 represent the hour and the 35 represents the minutes. 1104 AM is 1104. There's the 1104. Now when we are telling the time after midday that's when it becomes interesting. 2.18 p.m. That's two hours after midday. So we take 12 hours. So from midnight to midday is 12 hours. We add the two. That gives us 14 hours. That just means 14 hours after midnight. And there's the 18, which is there. 7.06 p.m. That's 19.06 because from midnight to midday is 12 hours then we have another 7 hours so 12 plus 7 is 19 and there are the minutes so this video has looked at the important idea of time and we've looked at minutes etc days hours we've also had a brief look at time as it refers to the clock for example We've seen AM and PM, and we've also briefly discussed 24-hour time. 